Well, a car crash in the upstate leads to a gruesome discovery this morning, a double homicide. News 13's Evan Donovan is live in Pickens County right now. Evan, how is the crash related to the murders? Well, at this point in time, we don't exactly know. It all started around 6 a.m. this morning when deputies with the Pickens County Sheriff's Office were called to the scene here at 307 Cherokee Trail. They found a pickup truck involved in a single car accident outside the home. And when they responded to that home, they found that there were three gunshot victims. Now, when they went into the home, they, uh, they noticed that there were two deceased victims and a third victim who had life-threatening injuries. That victim has been transported to the hospital, and authorities are not saying whether that is the shooter. In fact, I'm sorry, they are saying that that is the shooter. The shooter is the one who has the life-threatening injuries and has been transferred to the hospital. Inside the car, they also found another victim who had been injured inside the crash. That person has also been transferred, transported to the hospital. We're not sure about their injuries at this time. However, no one is in custody at this moment. Uh, and with the shooter at the hospital, uh, the Master Chief Deputy Creed Hash with the Pickens County Sheriff's Office has indicated that they are not looking for anyone and that everyone in the, in the community is safe. Uh, we do think this is an isolated incident uh, with this one home here. There's not a threat to the community. Uh, we know everyone that was involved in, in the event, we think. And uh, we have every, we know where everyone's located, so we, we don't we're not concerned about there being any threat to the community. Now again, just to recap, uh, all four people involved here are thought to be from the same family. We don't know whether they all lived in the home where the crash initially occurred and where these shootings occurred, but we do know, uh, as, as we know from Pickens County Sheriff's, that they are in the same family. Uh, they do plan to hold a press conference later this afternoon to update us more on the situation. And of course, we'll bring you more with that uh, when they do. For now, live in Pickens County, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.